braces for dogs, unimaginably colorful shrimps, fireworks spitting fish. The animal kingdom is full of surprises that prove that nature has the most inventive mind. A single strand of hair can hold up to three ounces, meaning, theoretically, all the hair on your head could hold the weight of two full-grown elephants. Some snails can sleep for up to three years, but they usually get in 13 to 15 hour snoozes and wake up with a 30 hour boost of energy. Periodical cicadas come out of their underground shelters every 13 or 17 years. This is a biological adaptation so that no other animal can depend on them as a food source. Most animals' lifespans are shorter. Scientists theorize that early humans lost their fur so they wouldn't overheat while hunting. We instead evolved to store fat to keep warm, which is why your head is covered in long, thick hair. There's no fat on your scalp. Dogs can wear braces to fix their teeth, just like humans. And you might not believe it, but this invention has existed for over 30 years now. Dogs can also have dental fillings if they chipped one of their teeth in case of cavities and crowns. The smallest monkey in the world, the pygmy marmoset, could hug your thumb like a tree trunk. Owls are the birds able to see the color blue, and they don't exactly have eyeballs like humans. Theirs are more like eye tubes, since they can't move inside the eye socket like your eyes. An owl must rotate its whole head. Butterflies feel smells with their feet, snakes with their tongues, and octopuses with their arms. Blind mole rats live underground and send each other information by banging their heads on the tunnel walls. Reindeers change their eye color depending on the season. Their eyes are gold in the summer and blue in the winter. Bees show the location of pollen source to other bees with a waggle dance. The fastest registered human punch is 45 miles per hour. A mantis shrimp strikes at 50 miles per hour. These creatures also have 16 light-sensitive cones in their eyes against our three, and thanks to that, they can see colors unimaginable for us humans. They're very colorful too, even to our eyes, and how they see each other is beyond our wildest fantasies. Pistol shrimps, however, beat their relatives in power because they close their big right claw with such speed that it creates a white-hot air bubble underwater, and it's literally hot. The temperature of this tiny bubble momentarily reaches almost that of the surface of the sun. The oldest tree we know is called Methuselah. It's 4,700 years old. This thing was a sapling in the 27th century BCE. Dolphins sleep with one half of their brain resting while the other remains alert. Horses have one heart like you and me, but they have a heart-like organ at the bottom of each foot called a frog. It pumps blood up the leg every time the horse stands on it. Many types of seahorses are similar to chameleons not only because of their ability to change color, but also in that their two eyes move independently from each other. Some seahorses can't change color at will, but they're born with color to blend with their habitat. For example, red for coral or green for algae. Baby flamingos are grayish white. Algae and seafood they feed on contains a substance called carotenoids. And thanks to it, over time, Flamingos acquire pink plumage. It's the same substance that's present in carrots, and your skin can turn orange too if you eat too much of it. The black and white color of a zebra doesn't help it hide from predators. What it does is help avoid bites from dangerous insects, such as tsetse fly. A fly sees a zebra, but when approaching, it flies by or crashes into the animal and bounces off. Nobody knows exactly why this happens. One theory says that the black and white coat of a zebra creates an optical illusion that confuses insects. Thanks to their tallness and good eyesight, giraffes can see danger approaching from afar. Their head is like a watchtower, and they warn each other of the threat in a very unusual way, with the help of their low humming sound. Seagulls can drink salt water. There are salt-secreting glands near their eyes. These glands purify seawater very quickly and the salty residue that comes out through the nostrils. 
Perhaps the most impossible creature in the world is a jellyfish. It doesn't have any sensory organs we're used to, like eyes, ears, and nose. It has no skeleton, but most importantly, it hasn't got a brain or a heart. Its body is almost entirely made of water. That's why if you take a jellyfish out of the sea and put it on the shore, it will soon melt. At the same time, there's a species of jellyfish that can live forever in a safe environment. Horseshoe crabs have two eyes on the sides of their head, five more on top of their shell, two near their mouth, and one on the tail. The latter is used as a photoreceptor. It catches the sunlight and tells the crab if it's day or night outside. Hippos don't get their skin burned in the blazing sun because they produce their own sunscreen. It's kind of pink sweat that covers their whole body. Kangaroo rats can go without water for years and sometimes even throughout their entire lives. They live in extremely arid deserts and get all the water they need from the seeds and plants they feed on. Plumed basilisk lizards have an uncanny ability to run on water. First, their hind feet are equipped with long toes with fringes of skin that can spread out in the water. As a result, a bigger surface of the lizard's foot comes into contact with the water. Then, it pumps its legs incredibly fast when it runs on water. This creates little pockets of air that prevent the animal from drowning by keeping it on the surface. The cardinal fish has been called firework spitting for a reason. When this little critter guzzles too many ostracods, a type of zooplankton, the tiny creatures start to glow inside the fish's body due to their bioluminescence. As a result, the cardinal fish becomes more visible, exposing it to predators. That's why the fish spits the ostracods out, which looks like it breathes outbursts of bluish fire. Opossums are immune to snake venom. The secret is a peptide that helps these critters neutralize dangerous chemicals. This is why snakes are a favorite treat on a possum's diet. Meerkats have dark patches around their eyes, but these black circles aren't just there to make the critters more adorable. They also function as built-in sunglasses. The dark fur on the patches blocks the blazing sun, so meerkats can gaze directly at the sky. On top of that, the sentry, a meerkat that watches out for birds and other predators, can easily see danger and alert its mates. Salmon are skilled navigators who could put most drivers to shame. However, this competition wouldn't be fair. After all, salmon can sense the planet's magnetic field and use this knowledge if they get lost. Dingoes have rotating wrists, just like humans. This helps them climb trees, use their paws like hands to catch food, and even open doors. Sponge crabs are the icons of style in the animal kingdom. They dig and cut into sea sponges to make their very own hats. The purpose of this hat is protective, though. Sponge crabs use them to hide from predators and protect themselves against bites. Flying squirrels glow under UV light, emitting pink light. It happens because they can absorb light and emit it back in another wavelength. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Pockets are usually on the left side of shirts because most people are right-handed. Is this a myth or a fact? This is actually true. Many products favor the righties. Left-handed people will relate to this on so many levels. Let's say public transport. Have you ever noticed that the scanner at stations is typically on the right side? Household equipment and devices are one more example. Scissors, tweezers, bottle openers, and many other kitchen and household appliances are designed with right-handed people in mind. The same goes for shirt pockets. While some people use both hands equally and others change their hand preference between tasks, overall, most people are right-handed. A study has revealed that 75% to 90% of the world's population are right-handed and 10% are left-handed. This means it's more convenient for most people to have pockets on the left side than on the right side of their garments. Try it out for yourself. Your elbow kind of folds when you try to reach into the pocket on the right side. Whereas on the left side, your elbow makes an arc shape, which makes it easier to put things inside the pocket and take them out. 
Eating more protein leads to having bigger muscles. What do you think about this, bodybuilders? Myth or fact? This is a myth. It's true that eating protein is essential for building bigger muscles. I mean, proteins are building blocks of your body. And yet, eating more than you need is unnecessary. Everyone should drink 8 glasses of water a day. Do you think this is a myth or a fact? This is a myth, so don't blame yourself for drinking less water than recommended. 8 glasses are not a magic number. Hydration needs differ from one person to another. How much water you should drink every day depends on your activity and exercise level. The temperature of the place where you live affects this number too. If you live in a hot area, you sweat more and need to drink more water. Soup, coffee, tea, fruits, and other things you eat daily also contain water. Carrots are high in sugar, so you should avoid eating them. If this is true, we should warn bunnies. Any guesses? Fact or myth? It's a myth. Carrots are about 85% water. One pound of cooked carrots only contains three teaspoons of sugar. Compared to the amount of sugar in desserts, this is nothing. Plus, carrots are high in phytochemicals, and eating them can help lower blood sugar. Medieval people believed in flat earth. Is this a myth or a fact? Obviously, flat earth is a myth. But so is the history built around this myth. You can't say that at those times. The whole world was skeptical about Earth's spherical shape. Even everyday visible things prove that. For example, medieval people could see that the twilight glow during sunrise and sunset formed an arc over the horizon. Vikings wore horned helmets. Is this a myth or fact? The well-known image of a Viking warrior is almost always completed with a horned helmet. But in reality, there were no horns. There's no evidence that Viking helmets were horned. Detox juices cleanse your body. Is this a fact or myth? It's a myth. Detoxification doesn't work that way. Your internal organs are responsible for the process of cleansing the spleen, liver, kidneys, especially the liver. Your body is always in a natural state of cleansing itself. A person doesn't need to drink juices for detoxification. Nuts are junk food. Any thoughts? Myth or fact? You're right, this is a myth. Nuts are full of healthy fats. They're good for your heart and other organs. The average American throws away about 82 pounds of textile waste per year. Is this a fact or myth? Fact! Imagine all that waste. When someone throws their clothes away, they don't disappear into thin air. These items most likely reach landfills as their final destination. Donating clothes and selling them in second-hand stores are a much better option. Now, you've probably heard about life-saving laundry tricks that are said to make your clothes super clean and as good as they were on day one. What if those laundry tips are actually myths? I got three of them lined up for you. Shirts should be buttoned when you put them in the laundry. Is it true or not? This is a myth. You'd better keep zippers closed to keep their teeth from catching the fabric of other clothes. But fastening the buttons of a shirt can expand the button net and the button hole. In the long term, buttons will start slipping out of place. Washing clothes in hot water is the most effective way to clean them. Is this a myth or a fact? That's another laundry myth. You want to rid your clothes of germs, yet hot water alone won't be enough for this. Nowadays, many detergents can clean clothes in cold or warm water. You should remove stains from the face of the fabric. Is it true? Most people apply water and soap to the stain, starting from the front side of the fabric. But that's not the best option. A much better way is to start from the back. The stain can go deeper if you treat it from the front. Try to make the stain move up to the surface rather than push it inside. Listening to music is an effective tool for learning languages. Is it a myth or fact? It's a fact! Scientists say listening to a song and humming along can help you learn a language. Most people struggle to learn grammar, yet in our daily lives, we don't always follow grammar rules. Songs can help you pick up informal expressions. Scientists have also concluded that music can help you remember new words and add them to your vocabulary. Let me give you an example. It's from your first year at school. 
Yep, the alphabet song. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Either way, you might want to know these facts and myths about sleep. The longest someone went without sleep was 11 days. Do you think this is possible? Or is it an urban legend? This is a fact. Randy Gardner set the record for the longest amount of time a person went without sleep. It was an experiment carried out by Stanford sleep researcher Dr. William C. Demond. The doctor recorded and monitored Randy Gardner's sleep activity. Gardner managed to stay awake for 11 days and 25 minutes. Your body eventually gets used to getting less sleep. Myth or fact? It's a myth. There are many studies proving that your body and especially your brain can't get used to sleeping less. Have you noticed that after a few nights of insufficient sleep, you begin to feel groggier during the day? That's your body trying to adjust to not getting enough rest. Long-term sleep deprivation affects your daytime performance, focus, and decision-making. Many grown-ups need five or fewer hours of sleep. Can it be true? Well, this one's easy. It's a myth. Experts from the National Sleep Foundation recommend that the average adult sleeps seven to nine hours per night. Some people have a genetic mutation thanks to which they wake up refreshed after a short night's sleep, but such people are an exception. One in four million. The ability to fall asleep in any place and at any time means you're a good sleeper. What do you think, myth or fact? It's a myth. A good sleeper gets a proper amount of sleep and has a regular sleep schedule. Cats spend two-thirds of their life asleep. Do you believe that? This will probably come as no surprise. It's a fact. How many of the facts and myths did you guess correctly? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. There are two sides to every story. Just like to a regular cotton pad, two different textures to be more precise. One is smooth, and you're supposed to use it for more sensitive areas of your face, for example, the eyes. The rougher side can help you remove makeup and clean your face in less sensitive areas, like the forehead. If you like having greenery in your home, you've probably noticed the flower pots have holes at the bottom. These holes are the reason your green friends live a happy life. They're extremely important for water drainage. Thanks to these holes, you'll avoid stagnant water buildup that can eventually ruin your plant. Also, thanks to those holes, roots can grow and expand beyond the limits of your pot. Have you noticed aviator sunglasses mostly have green lenses? It has something to do with their origin. First, they showed up in the 1930s. Before that, pilots had goggles to protect their eyes while they were in the air. High altitudes with glaring sun and sub-zero temperatures were a real test for their eyes. The goggles helped them with those issues, but there was another one. Since the temperature differences between the air, outside, and within the goggles were big, the lenses would fog up and obscure the pilot's view. So, the company Bausch & Lohm came up with teardrop lenses surrounded by a light metal frame. These lenses were dark green because this tint cuts out blue light, which is also a problem for pilots when they're flying above the cloud line. Plus, green lenses also reduce glare and improve contrast and sharpness. Holes in the side of your Converse sneakers, hmm, are those really necessary? Well, they allow air to enter your shoe so your feet can stay cool. You can also use them to style up your shoes and tie them in different ways, too. There are two reasons plastic bottles have grooves. First, if you're drinking cold water and it's hot outside, you'll see there's a lot of condensation on your bottle. Or maybe if you're playing some sport or working out. Your hands are sweaty and if a bottle had a smooth surface, it would be more difficult to grip it. So the ridges are there to improve your hand grip. The second reason is that because of these ridges, manufacturers can use thinner plastic. That means they need less material in overall production. And that plastic is still firm enough for the bottle to maintain its shape. Wooden coat hangers are not just there to look nice. 
Since they're made of cedar wood, they bring a nice scent to your closet. Plus, they repel bugs. They're also quite firm, so they come in handy for heavy clothes, such as jackets. And it's hard to damage them. So, they'll serve you longer. You may have noticed there's a colored square at the bottom of your toothpaste. These blocks mostly come in blue, red, green, and black. They are some sort of eye marks, since they help manufacturing machines at the assembly line recognize where and when to cut the toothpaste and seal the end of the tube. Some boots have loops at their top and back. Looks like a fashion statement, doesn't it? Or maybe it's something that manufacturers add for fun. But those loops actually have their purpose. With them, you can pull the shoe up when trying to wear it. Plus, you can easily hang them or use the loop for better support for the laces. Confession time! Remember those attachments your vacuum cleaner came with? Did you also put them somewhere aside and never use them again? They're actually pretty helpful when you're cleaning the house because you can use them for particular areas that are sometimes hard to reach with the regular attachment. We all know what the vegetable peeler is for, but besides peeling the skin of carrots or potatoes, you can use it for onions too. It may be faster than doing it with a knife, plus it will save you some onion tears. Some sweatshirts have something pretty specific in the neck area. A V-shaped stitch you can see in the middle of the collar. The ribbed insert, similar to the ribbing at the hem and the sleeves, would allow the owner to put the garment on more easily and it wouldn't even lose shape. The V insert would stretch so a person wearing the sweatshirt could get their head through the neck. Its purpose was also to absorb sweat. In its early versions, sweatshirts had both the back and the front of the collars. Through time, they lost the back one, and this V insert became something decorative since manufacturers started to stitch a V at the collar without using the ribbed material they had added before. Brightly colored squares or circles you see on food packages aren't an indication of vitamins, minerals, or certain flavors that food contains. And nope, it's not some secret code consumers are supposed to crack. It's actually for printing engineers. They're called process control patches or printer's color blocks. During the process of printing the food packaging, manufacturers use those colored blocks to check if the printing ink is correct. They compare the color of blocks they print to make sure the brand they print for has a consistent and recognizable quality all over the world. The majority of printers only use four colors, yellow, magenta, cyan, and black. Some printers have additional colors, such as green, orange, and violet. That's why you sometimes see multiple circles on certain packages. They test each ink color. Margins in notebooks. They're not there as some sort of a guide for taking notes and writing. Someone came up with a potential solution that was supposed to protect the written work from, well, rats. They used to be pretty common residents in people's homes. They are known for their diet, including basically anything, like paper, for example. So, people started adding wide margins as an appetizer that was supposed to keep rats full. This way, they wouldn't want to get to the main dish, the written pages. Suits have a buttonhole close to the top of the lapel. Manufacturers sew it shut so you can't open it without ruining your suit. And when you compare it to the other lapel, you see that one is completely smooth, without any clues. You won't find such an unpartnered buttonhole on a suit jacket only. Camp shirts, pea coats, and some other clothing pieces have them too. And they have to do with the history of lapels. The earliest ones showed up at the beginning of the 19th century. Before this, men mostly wear frocks with high collars. They would button them all the way up to the top. During hot days, they would relax the button stance, turn down the collars, and leave the top button undone. It was a relief from the swelter, plus their folded over laps would be symmetrical at the chest, and today, we recognize that as a lapel. People stopped using that buttonhole after they came up with the lapel, unless it was for some formal occasion. Like, for example, when you wanted to put a flower in there. That's why suit makers left it as a fashion feature. Tea bags. It's pretty easy to guess what they're for, but they come in handy if you have smelly feet after a long day in your shoes. Just pop tea bags, unused of course, in your shoes during the night. By the time you wake up, tea bags are going to effectively absorb all the unwanted odors. 
Binder clips can also have a helpful purpose besides their main one. You can clip your money to keep it together. Same is true for paper clips. If your favorite bracelet broke and you're looking for a way to hold it on, a paper clip might help. Just hook one through each end of the bracelet, twist it tightly, and your bracelet is good to go.